everybody. I'm Yu-Gi-Oh! Deckmaster. And I'm the cat. And we're here to bring you a special duel between my friend Double K. G and myself. I'll be using my Rock Sten deck, and he'll be using his defensive Guardian Sphinx-like Rock deck. I don't know. You can call it what you want. But if you're ready to get rock and roll, let's get started. Obviously, I started off with the Dark Hole, Mystical Space, Pot of Duality, Phoenix Chain, and a Koki Maru Guardian. Ooh, a good hand. Yeah, not a bad hand. Using its ability to search, Duality's ability to search, I can either add a Fossil Dina. Sandman or Mystical Space, I'm going for Dina because special summoning's a bitch. I'll go ahead and throw my face downs, Mystical Space, and Phoenix Chain down, and reveal Dina to keep Guardian alive. My opponent will draw into his cards and, of course, throw down his defensive wall. For those of you who don't know, Canyon will double the damage of any monster that battles a defense position rock monster. And Shifting Shadows will allow him to pay 300 to switch around all face-down monsters and then flip them face-down again. I draw in my turn getting a block golem, but this card is not good for me right now because I do not have enough rocks in the grave. So summoning Fossil Dina, he may be 1,200, but he packs a punch. I bite into his monster. Oh, or Dilla the Traveler. Now I must randomly guess one monster, spell, or trap in his hand, and if I guess wrong, it bounces my monster back to hand. Guessing a... Yikes. Guessing a spell did not allow the attack go through, but he was ready for my attack. If I would have attacked into him, Guardian Sphinx would have gone to 3,500, and I would have taken double any battle damage thanks to Sphinx and Canyon. So I tribute Guardian to negate uh, his Guardian's effect, and therefore uh, get to live... you into a rock and a hard place. Yeah. It does put me in a little bit, but the damage I would have taken would have hurt a lot more. True. Uh, he draws into Dandelion, which is a little weird. At the time, of course, I did not know this. Uh, a rock deck running Dandelion, but okay, fine. I'll go ahead and activate my Dark Hole, summon my Dina, and... Tech! Not knowing what's in his hand, he'll, of course, activate Guardian Sphinx. I must guess what he has. Damn it. For some reason, my gut kept saying spell card. Obviously, my gut was full of shit. Or full of food, either one. Yeah, that's true. It does, it does tend to be full of both. Ah, it draws into Guardian Sphinx. Keep in mind, if I can get Fossil Dana back on the field and I kill his dandelion, he will not get fluff tokens, because that is a special summon. I will go ahead and use the Call of the Haunted I have set to summon Guardian Sphinx. Or Guardian Sphinx, yeah. <laughs> Guardian, uh, well, Guardian, period. I will draw into another Call of the Haunted. This will allow me to negate another effect. I'll summon a Fossil Dina. And go for the attack. He activates Ordeal. How many times can you activate Ordeal? Every time they declare an attack. So it's continuous. Yep. My attack goes through. And this allowed uh, Danny Lyons to not get no tokens in a direct 19. Bitch slap to the face. I'll go ahead and reveal Block Golem in hand to keep uh, uh, Guardian alive, just for a little bit longer. Oh. Nice draw. He draws into a fellow penguin. His deck does revolve around flipping things or spinning things, just in case you all wondered. Uh, therefore, Penguin Soldier fits very nicely into that uh, forte. You know I love those penguins. Yep. Now, Sandman summon, but Sandman's effect cannot be used on Guardian, uh, or on uh, Ordeal of the Traveler, because it's already been activated. He's just using the effects. He goes ahead and lets the attack go through. I'll go, and, of course, Penguin Soldier's effect activates. I'll tribute Guardian to negate said effect and allow me to attack directly for 1,200. Yikes. See, Guardian's a bitch. Once you get him out, you can just keep abusing his ass over and over and over as long as you have ways of bringing him back. Rebellion. Keep on using and abusing. Exactly. The brothers in this deck work well together, and yet again, his penguin wants to keep giving, so he ends up drawing into another one. I forgot to set my Call of the Haunted last turn, so that did not work in my favor. Oh, well, that's okay. So, uh, Call of the Haunted face down now. Attack his monster, and Penguin will bounce both of my cards back to hand. Looks like you got another block, Golem. Yes, I did. Not useful at this time, 
but can be useful after doing this. I'll end and reveal Sandman, or reveal uh, Black Golem in hand. This will allow him to stay on the field for a little bit longer. Now, hopefully if I combo this right, things will work out well enough. Going into my draw phase, drawing a Mirror Force, never a bad card to draw, except when you're playing against a defensive deck that never attacks. Yikes. Not the best card to have, and since I don't do side decks uh, anymore, uh, it doesn't work out. All right, I'm going to give it a call. I call a monster card, and obviously we can tell by his hand I was going to guarantee to get that. So, dear, oh. are you rock hard? Oh, nasty. Nasty. I love it. <laughs> well, I can't do much there. Gar uh, Sandman got bounced back to hand thanks to that damn spell. Or trap, sorry. He draws into another one, running three in a 50-card deck, or over 50 cards it looks like, because he's just now down to 48. Not always the best. Shortening it down, bro, might help you out a little bit more. I draw into Solidarity, which should actually help there, boosting my monsters up a something I can't think of the word, but a big amount. There we go. Bleh. Tongue twisters suck. Damn it! More than me. Wow. And no, I disagree with that, totally. Go ahead and call Monster this time, which will allow my 2000 to go through. He's not able to get much of a comeback ever since I dark hold his statue. Two tribute monsters and a trap in his hand don't really help. Though, keep in mind, the more cards he gets in his hand that I don't know what they are, the more likely uh, Ordeal is uh, useful. Goes ahead and plays that Swords of Revealing Light. Blocking off all my attacks for the next two turn, three turns. So I don't really have an out. So I'm going to go ahead and summon Sandman. Go to my battle phase for giggles. And then end. I reveal a rock in my hand and Sandman sticks around for a turn. Oh, shiitake mushroom, the card that can cripple all decks. Dice jar. For those of you who don't know what Dice Jar does, when it's flipped, both players roll a die. And the person with the lowest roll takes 500 times the winning roll. Unless it's six. If the winning roll is six, you take 6,000 points of damage. Ouch! And that's a painful act. I summon my Grand Mole, so if he would roll a six and I roll lower, I would be down to 2,000 life points like that. Oh, he's going to flip it. Hells no! Fiendish chain that bitch! I am not taking a chance, though if it would have backfired, I probably could have won that. Oh. Interesting. Tributes his, uh, goal, uh, his dice jar for his guardian sphinx. Which is not good for me, but I will play my Silvory Calcos. Which we all know what that means. When I win the game... I win a soul. Buddy Dark bribes it. So that don't happen. No souls for dinner. Aw, baby goes hungry. A little bit. I go ahead and let my Sandman get destroyed because I have a backup plan here. Because I know what he's about to do and I want to be able to go off next turn. He's going to flip up his Guardian Sphinx for forcing both my monsters back to hand. Because when Guardian Sphinx is flipped face up, all monsters on the opponent's field return to the owner's hand. I'll be able to activate Call of the Haunted and bring back Guardian Sphinx. I mean, Kokimur, Kokimur Guardian. Too many cards with Guardian in its name. In this, uh, oh, job. the Guardians. I'll go ahead when he tries to flip his monster face down again, which has that effect. Tribute Guardian and negate it. Blowing it to pebbles. And yeah, stop masturbating. As you can tell, I'm drawing into a little bit monster heavy, and with only a 16 monster count, it kind of sucks. But I'll go ahead and summon Block Golem, activating its effect, bringing back both Guardian and Sandman. Their effects cannot be used this turn, though, so keep that in mind. Um, I'll go ahead and attack. Ordell of the Traveler is activated. I'll declare a monster and get it right. Hammer time! Oh, shit. 
Jujutsu Master bouncing. Jujutsu Monster bounces any monster that battles it to the top of the owner's deck. Damn. Got it wrong and got bounced back. My field is very clogged with cards. So empty. I have two Call of the Haunted's, which are spent, a Phoenix Chain, a Solidarity, and a Mirror Force. Most so of it's useless. The only thing that's granting me any ability here is this Solidarity. Damn, and 16 count monster, or monster count is 16, and yet that's all I'm drawing. It's ridiculous. Between a rock and a hard place, but not in a good way. Yeah, that's for sure. Not like you were last night, right? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but tonight's your turn. Oh. I go ahead and get the final attack in with Sandman, and that's game. Let's head on over to the second match, shall we? Beep. Yeah, swap. And there we go. I draw into a dark hole. Block Golem. Not useful so much. MST, Solidarity, and Book of Moon. This is his first starting hand. He gets to go first. Activating Final Countdown. Pays 2,000 life points. And if in 20 turns, counting both players' turns, I don't beat him, he wins. He activates the spell card Toll, and that means every time I declare an attack, I have to pay 500 life points. <laughs> I'll go ahead and activate MST on that toll because you know what? I don't want to pay those life points. Ah. Okay, we're on turn two of the 20 count. This is not good for me, but I did start off with the dark hole again, which could actually turn out to be kind of useful. I'll go ahead and activate compulsory evacuation device on his set monster, which of course I did not know was Penguin Soldier at the time. But I was hoping to actually draw into a monster, so I probably kind of misplayed that. Should have waited. Should have, could have, would have, but didn't. Nope, I did not. We're on final countdowns. Count of number four. Sixteen more turns, and I'm fucked. I threw Forbidden Lance down. Not sure how well it'll help me. Maybe against Ordale it might work. Fucked like I was last night. Uh, pretty much. I was rode like a damn cowgirl on a bull. Oh, finally drew into Guardian. Guardian! And this will allow me to attack into a sap monster. Cobra Man Suzuki. This is a flip effect monster, and when he's flipped, he gets to look at all set cards you have on your side of the field. All the hobos. He also has the ability to flip himself face down again, but then again, he ain't alive to do so. So I'll go ahead and end Revealing Rock Golem and... Uh, Block Golem. And uh, we'll see what happens. He draws into Canyon. Field spell that'll double the damage of any monster, rock monster I battle in defense mode. Seven turns counting in, so that means 13 more turns for me to somehow get him from 6,000 to zero. But don't worry, we'll steal his pants, his leather pants. Hardly wish I could actually have this on play, but I don't know if that's legally owned or something. So. Me and my car, we will have our revenge. Me and Jay will steal his leather pants. I'll go ahead and attack with uh, Dina and therefore activate Penguin Soldier's effect, tributing Golem to negate it. And in my turn with that, since Golem was sent to the graveyard, Solidarity kicks in, granting my Dina an extra 800 attack points. It's over 700! What? That ain't much. <laughs> nah, not really. Nine turns in! Eleven turns to go! Time is not on my side. I'll go ahead and summon this little bastard here, Sandman, to the field and try to peck in some damage. I said stop masturbating. No! He activates Windstorm of Aquata, or however you pronounce it. It basically turns all monsters on the field, and, well, either into defense or if they're in defense into attack, so it changes their modes. But Sandman tributes itself and negates it and allows me to go for a 2,000 sucker punch. Number 10. We're low on turns here, people. Low on turns. He sets a swarm of scarabs. Not really going to do much, but hey, you never know. Go ahead and draw into a mirror force. Oh, goody! This time I'm probably not going to be stupid enough to set it, but then again, knowing me, who knows. Go ahead and end my turn with... This little booger on the field. I mean, we're on turn 11 now, I believe. 
final destination. Yeah, it's a bitch of a card, and that's why it was limited to one. He'll go ahead and throw Dandelion down, but with Dina out, it's final not going to do much. 13. Eh, give him time. They'll get to that in the movie, Harry. Go ahead and summon Wall. He's my spell negator. Go ahead and attack. No tokens. 27. Boom. One more attack, and it's game. We're going to go down to the nitty-gritty here. It's going to be down. I reveal block goal. Final on. destination, 14. This is counting down six more turns. Oh, him drawing into a Sphinx did not save his ass there. He realizes he can't do nothing, and he forfeits the game from there. That's uh, my duel. Give Double KG a shout-out if you like. And, of course, if you like it from us, always rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I say... Peace out! Rock on! Beep, 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 beep.